Hey everyone, what is up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Jen here in the house. So today we're gonna have to get the hair pulled back because it's gonna be a busy one. It's gonna be a lot to take in and I need to be ready to go. You know what I mean? So today we are going to do Boxy Lux versus Boxy Premium. So um, if you wanna know what I got in my Boxy Lux and in my Boxy Premium, keep on watching. All right, so this month I got this huge box and there's not a lot in it. So this is BoxyCharm, pretty edgy, was the Lux thing. Um, I did get variation number eight and I thought they were doing these virtually. So I was really surprised to get one in the box this month, but um, maybe it glitched because like they sent out my virtual card and I hadn't got my box yet. So I knew what I was getting. So maybe they were like, never mind, we fucked it up. <laughs> What's new? Okay, so let's just talk about it. The first thing is the actual item that I picked. This is the Murad Hydrodynamic Ultimate Moisture for Eyes. I have been using this. I do love Murad products, and this retails for $70. Most of Murad's products are expensive. Um, so I'm excited about this. I love this. This is hydrating. I really need that for my under eyes, and then I've been using a moisturizer. Um, so you know i have a toner that i like and that's just kind of where i'm at with that but i was glad i got to pick this because under eye creams are hella expensive and so it's really nice to be able to get them in a subscription box and pay less but get more does that make sense so i was excited about that the next thing is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Boom Boom Bum Bum whichever and Coco Cabana Cream Duo so it looks like they're both just lotions helps to visibly tighten the skin and helps to super hydrate and make it look bouncy um i haven't really smelled this one before but i know people said it smells like buttered popcorn and they are correct so there's that and then i know what this one smells like i was gonna sell these but now i'm kind of like you know what i think i'll just take them for like travel or whatever i just traveled but these retail for $15. All right, next is the Hello Charmer palette, which I gotta tell you, they said it's worth $39. It's 12 pan. And I kinda had to laugh at that. Like, it's a boxy charm palette, you know? It's really pretty. This color here, it looks blue, but it's purple. You know what I mean? <sighs> Very chunky glitters. So it is pretty. And then you have Swipe Up, which is definitely um, a glitter and not a shimmer. You know what I mean? Um, so it's like a pink, but it's like looks green. Um, and then you have Charmer, which is just a regular shimmer. And that is really pretty. And then let's just go unboxing for a matte color. And then there's that. So. It's not terrible. I just feel like I'm overpressed glitters and I feel like that's what this one is. And then the rest of them are sort of like shimmers. Um, so you've got like a pressed glitter and a little more chunky of a shimmer and then regular shimmers. And then, you know, you can make an eye look with this, but I just feel like 40 bucks for this boxy charm. I feel like you're lying to me. You know, I just, I don't like it when people lie to me. Let me get a makeup wipe here. All right. I've not been using these on my face, but I have been using them for like swatches and whatever. So that's good. All right. So we'll get that off of there in case there's something else we need to swatch. Um, all right, moving on. The next thing, everybody was so excited about this. This is the PMD cleaning device. It's a smart facial cleaning device. I got pink. This is a $99 product. So it's a sonic glow technology. It's supposed to obviously vibrate and get everything out of your pores. It's made out of silicone. So it's waterproof, you know, odor resistant, hypoallergenic, all that stuff. Cleans up easy. Um, it's for all skin types. It's an anti-aging facial massage and there's no car, uh, cord 
It's AA batteries and the batteries are included. So that's pretty cool. It's got a one year limited warranty. I haven't even taken it out of the box yet. So we'll do that together. How do you feel about that? Oh, look, even the battery's pink. How cute. So it's really little. Oh, it's like a stand so you can stand it up. That's cute. That's real cute. Okay. Um, obviously I'll have to put the batteries in it to make it work, but it looks like you can use both sides. Okay, the bottom just twists off. And then of course this has to be in plastic because why wouldn't it be? Um, there we go. And it looks like the positive just drops right in there. This is very convenient. Um, I don't normally use these types of things just because I have a wash rag or a make makeup eraser, you know what I mean? Um, I don't know, I got one of these in like a FabFitFun box. It was like a little Fofo fo or something. I put it on my Poshmark because I never used it. Um, but this one's neat, I guess. Ooh, makes my nose itch. Okay, oh, and it goes higher. It vibrates. It pulses. That's it. Okay. So four different settings. Seems a lot like it could be a vibrator. Just putting that out there. But um, yeah, we'll use it for our faces, ladies, right? <laughs> and gentlemen, you know, whatever. I'm not judging your tank. Anyways, <laughs> I'm a terrible person. All right, next. Let's see, I think the next thing is the NARS lippy. So we got a power matte lip pigment and I got the color, give it up. I also have this listed for sale. Oh no, I don't, I haven't listed it yet. If you wanna buy this, let me know. Um, I'm gonna list it for sale. It's hot ass pink. I'm not gonna swatch it, um, but I was really excited to get this, but I'm like, hey, my quiz says neutrals and nudes only. So why the fuck did I get another bright ass color? I just, BoxyCharm just really pisses me off. Like they don't care, they don't listen, they don't try to correct it, whatever. That's a waste of my money. All right. The Becca Skin Love Glow Glaze Stick. Oh, that was $25, sorry. This is 28. It's a translucent highlighter that looks dewy and is um, a skin like glassy effect anyway so you could put this on and put your highlighter over it and make it really really blinding let's see i have my fenty one right here so let's just add this to that and just see what it does oh yeah see bitch is here hi how you doing so i guess it could be good for that i'll try it out whatevs we'll see just kind of feel like it's just a product that i'm not going to use you know but I got it and I paid for it, so may, may as well make the best of it. All right, the next thing, these are $8. I got a pack of three, I think, so they're for your hair. Um, you're just supposed to use it like a ponytail holder, only it's kind of weird and it pulls at my hair and it's kind of like, it's not exactly rubber, but it's that plasticky material that you don't want to put in your hair because it breaks your hair. And I'm just not sure how I feel about these. I just... I don't know where the other ones are. I just pulled this one out to try it out the other day, but I wasn't a fan, so thanks for nothing. The next thing was my other choice. These are the Z-A-X-I-E Z by Stephanie Taylor. They're hoop earrings. So, oh, okay. So you see, nice hoop. Um, I already have an earring in my first hole, so let's just stick it in the second one. I picked these because I was like, all the other stuff was just a no bueno. Um, so they have little crystals on them. And these retail for $32. Yeah, so that's it. It's a nice hoop earring. If I ever go out and do anything, since the coronavirus is shutting that down, maybe I'll wear them, who knows. Um, but that was my other pick. So I picked eye cream and these. So that is the Boxy Lux box for the month. Um, let's see. The retail is 70, 80, 90, 120, 220, 250, 280, 340 bucks. $340 box for 50 bucks 
essentially paid 50 bucks for it. And um, really, I love the eye cream. The earrings are good. I'll try out the eyeshadow palette. The cleaning tool is like not that cool to me. I just, I try and then they go by the wayside. So I don't know, not my favorite box, probably my least favorite box. So let's move on to the Boxy Premium. So this is BoxyCharm X Fenty Beauty. Yay, and all the kids clapped. Okay, so the first thing that we got is the Moroccan Spice Palette, which I already own. So I'm gonna swatch mine because I have listed the Moroccan Spice Palette for sale on Facebook. So go check it out if you wanna buy it. But this one has already been swatched. I also have this one listed, but for half the price because obviously I've swatched it. So I just wanna show you guys this one, the inside and not open up the other one. These are the colors. Um, I don't know, like your lightest transition color is gonna be this color, this um, peach color here, and or like this color here. And your darkest are like these ones, just not tones that I'm crazy about. Um, the shimmers are pretty, but they don't show up that well. And this eyeshadow palette retails for um, $29. $29. I feel like I bought this for $39, you know? But $29, $29 for this eyeshadow palette. Not a fan. Not a fan at all. So it doesn't matter to me. The next thing I already also own. Um... I have worn it. I still wear it as like inner corner, things like that. It is the Trophy Wife Kilowatt Highlighter. I'm just going to show you this one. I'm not going to swatch it. It still has the protective cover in it. So that is the color there. It's a very blinding gold. It does work on a lot of skin tones, um, but you have to be avant-garde to really wear something like this, um, unless it's just an inner corner highlight or like an eyeshadow. So I really wish they would have let us have a choice for this box, and my choice would have been what highlighter color we get. So that would have been one choice. My second choice would have either been what color matchstick or what color lipstick. So they could have given us a choice on something. I feel like they robbed us by not giving us a choice. Um, so I'm excited about that. Next is Matchstick in Unicorn. So if you haven't seen the Matchsticks, they look like this. They are magnetic. I don't know if this has a magnet in it. No, okay. Um, so this is the color Unicorn. Again, I'm not gonna swatch it. It's bright purple. I already have a purple highlighter that I like that looks really good on my skin and it's the Jeffree Star one that I got, the Supreme Frost. I'm not using this. I'm also selling this. So if you wanna buy it, again, it's on Facebook. Um, I haven't been posting any extras to Poshmark because they did me dirty and I don't want to talk about that. So that retails for $25. The next thing, this is just so sad. Oh, the highlighter was 36. So the highlighter is more than the eyeshadow palette. That's where I just have an issue. So the lipstick that I got, the Mademoiselle lipstick that retails for $18, I got in the color PMS, which is like a maroon brown. Yeah, like a maroon brown color. I'm not going to swatch or use this either. I also listed this for sale. I don't own any of, any of these, and this is not going to be my first one because the color is shit. So there's that. And that retailed, I already told you, $18. Okay, the next thing, two things that I'm excited about within this package. The first one being this. This is the Gloss Bomb um, Universal Lip Luminizer. This retails for $19. I love the doe foot. I love the smell. It's just a milky color. Looks kind of like that highlighter. And we'll try it on here. Really pretty. I think if you have on a color, it will lighten it up nicely. And it wears really comfortably. It's very moisturizing. I would love to have all of the colors in this, the hot chocolate, the sweet mouth, the fussy, all of those I would love to have. Um, so I paid what $35 for this box so this is a $19 lipstick and then the only other thing in this box that I will use because I already own the the highlighter the gold one I already own the eyeshadow palette right and so they sent out this is so cute it's got the little mirror on it which is really good to apply your lips at work I've been carrying around my little handheld Kat Von D one so this comes open and it's got the little teeth on it and inside of here you open it up and there's a roll of paper so we're just gonna 
take a little piece of paper. We're going to close the lid. We're going to clamp this down. And we're just going to tear it off. It would be ideal to tear it off evenly. And the idea is just to take it and blot it and get the oil off of your skin and not disrupt the rest of your makeup. Works pretty dang good. Soaked up a lot of oil there. Right in here above my eyebrow. You know, whatever you got to do. This sort of feels like butcher paper and the little toilet paper things that you get had a baby. So I don't know. Um, this is $16. I think you're paying for the component more than the paper. I like the component. I like the mirror on it. I think that's very inventive. So for these two things, um, 20 35 so if I bought these two things separately I would have paid for the box so I'm not totally angry but I do feel like we got cheated we didn't get to make a choice and it kind of pissed me off so um let's go ahead and do some adding then so there's 36 25 29 19 18 and 16 so we're just going to call it a good 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 140 dollars for 35 and I already own two of the items and two of the colors just will not work for me. So I feel like this is a flop. I know a lot of people are excited. They can't afford Fenty and it was a great box for them. But for me, it was a flop. It was, it was a no go little buddy. It was a, I'm not happy at all, but you saw the eyeshadow palette that I own, um, hasn't been used. You know what I mean? Like it's been swatched. A couple colors have been, but it hasn't actually been used on my eye. So to get another one, like eh. to get another trophy wife, eh. to get a PMS color for lipstick, eh. to get a purple highlighter, eh. come on, Boxy Charm, get your shit together and don't take my choice away. So um, that is it. That is the Boxy Charm Luxe versus the Boxy Charm Premium. Neither one of them I was really happy with this month, but I think the Lux had more value based off of items that I got versus the money as compared to the Fenty box. So I would prefer the Lux over the premium. I did pay for both these. I'm not affiliated with BoxyCharm and they probably don't like me anyway. So there's that. So <laughs> do good, be good, you are good. If you were the first person to comment on my last video, you'll be featured here. Thank you for being subscribed, commenting, and interacting with me. Appreciate you so much. Um, do good, be good, you are good. Wash your hands and stay inside. Bye.